Hi everyone, today being the 20th day of the Swastya 365 days project, let's look on about certain definitions that are involved in tuberculosis and also about the natural history of the disease. So what is an bacteriologically confirmed tuberculosis case? A bacteriologically confirmed tuberculosis case is one from whom a biological specimen like that of a sputum sample or a lymph node biopsy is tested positive by smear microscopy or by culture or by rapid diagnostic test. All such cases are to be notified. So what is a clinically diagnosed tuberculosis case? A clinically diagnosed tuberculosis case is one which do not fulfill the criteria of bacteriological confirmation but the clinician finds abnormalities in the x-rays or in the extrapulmonary cases without any bacteriological confirmation. All these cases are clinically diagnosed but when they are bacteriologically confirmed they are reclassified into bacteriologically confirmed cases so what is the difference between pulmonary tuberculosis and extra pulmonary tuberculosis pulmonary tuberculosis involves the lungs and the tracheobronchial tree but extra pulmonary tuberculosis involves all the other organs like that of the bones joints lymph nodes skin genitourinary tract etc and even the pleura so what is the difference between a new patient and an previously treated patient. A new patient is someone who has not been treated for TB before or who has taken treatment only for one month. But a previously treated patient is someone who has received treatment for more than one month with anti-tubercular drugs and they are further classified into relapsed patient, treatment after failure patient treatment after follow-up patient. Now let's look on about the natural history of the disease. The disease is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis and the source of infection is from an infected person or from a bovine source. Tuberculosis is transmitted mainly by droplet infection and the droplet nuclei that is generated by a sputum positive patient with pulmonary tuberculosis. Coughing generates the largest number of droplets and of all sizes. The frequency and the vigor of the cough and the ventilation of the environment influences the transmission of infection. Tuberculosis is not transmitted by fomites such as dishes or other articles that are used by the patients. Sterilization of these articles are of very little value or of no value. An estimated average of 10 to 15 people contact the disease from an infected person with tuberculosis. The bovine source of infection is usually the milk which is not seen in our country because of our practice of boiling the milk before using it. The malnutrition plays a very important role in tuberculosis. Age does not play any role in tuberculosis. Any age group people can be affected but in India people who are mostly affected belong to the age group of 15 to 55. Men are more commonly affected than women. We have no inherited immunity against tuberculosis. Acquired immunity in the form of vaccinations is seen. Poor quality of life, poor housing, overcrowding, population exposure, smoking, alcoholism, lack of education, large families and lack of awareness about the illness are the main factors that causes the disease.